every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me. Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to tell you that this vlog is going to be from Hanoi, yay! And we are about to fly to our capital city to engage in an English competition, which is a national round, so I just feel like over the moon, cause this is the first time that I've won such a big scale contest like this, so... And to tell you the truth, this flight to Hanoi is mainly for joining that competition, so yeah. It's totally not a pure travel vlog, but anyway, I think I'll try to check out some famous local destinations here. And it's gonna be a two hour flight, pretty short, but I also can't avoid air sickness at first, but after doing lots of stuff, like, you know, taking a sip of water, indulging in dessert, and listening to some surfing tunes or being watching films, and though that's quite weird, but these things are truly therapeutic. And yeah, so after two hours on the plane, I arrived here and quickly find somewhere to grab lunch because I'm a real food person, so I can't stand being hungry. In the first and the second round, 10 candidates answer on a computer, multiple choice questions or filling answers based on the case video of organizing committee. And time to think and answer each question is 15 seconds from the end of the video and candidates who answer correctly in the shortest time will get the highest points. Besides, we also can choose the hope star to double our points. And in the final round, we will present a random topic given by our judges and answer their questions. And though I just achieved a consolation prize, but I was still extremely delighted because from my perspective, prizes in this national round are no longer a matter. The thing here is I got a deeper insight into everything from languages to social knowledge, history, geography, skills, etc. And these are also the key justifications why I yearn to engage in this round. And also in this Olympic English competition, I could have a great chance to interact with new friends coming from every corner of our country's territory. Those ones are so intellectual, well-rounded, and friendly that I have to strike up conversations with them and merely snap some beautiful photos together so that one day, when we grow old, we can reminisce about these fond memories. So, after finishing my competition, I decided to check out some famous tourist attractions here, and one of them is Hoang Kim Lake. Located right in the center of the capital of Vietnam, Hoang Kim Lake in Hanoi is famous for its peaceful beauty, its cultural as well as historical values. Many beautiful words are used to describe this beauty of the lake, such as picturesque, magnificent, dreamy, mysterious. That's why Hoang Kim Lake is always one of the top choices when choosing the places to visit in Hanoi. So now I'm just merely walking around the fresh water lake, soaking up the fresh air and indulging in its mysterious beauty. Known as the first national university of Vietnam, the Temple of Literature is not only the typical historical sites in Hanoi capital, but also the cultural quintessence of Bigan feudal regime also. For first-time visitors, it could be a pity if it is missed out in the must-see list. Despite the fact that Hanoi has been developed day in day out to keep pace with the rest of fast changing world, a myriad of ancient relics and Vietnamese tie on a tradition has still lingered on some corners of the capital. Also, in this temple, I've accumulated an abundance of new knowledge, such as information about this architectural feat, 
some ancient objects that has been used in former dynasties and so on. You know, I feel so privileged to enjoy such a masterpiece like this. It's so wonderful. Coming to the book street, the great escape for book lovers was established with the purpose of not only selling books but also providing a cultural space. This is the place used to introduce new books to readers and also let them explore the variety of books. And I realized that each bookstore on Hanoi Book Street is beautifully decorated. The street is only 200 meters long but it is well designed and built to look extremely spacious with greenery providing a peaceful ambience. In the middle of the street, there is a small venue to exchange activities where sometimes even small exhibitions are held. Along the entire street, there are rows of chairs arranged for readers to sit. Additionally, there is also a cafe nearby for visitors to rest after searching for good books. One thing in Hanoi that made me really surprised is that there's an eclectic mix of street food which is really savory and delicious. And I was just like... Guys, <laughs> I also tried drinking ice cream which is irreplaceable thing to its unique flavors and fresh and natural tastes. Moreover, those sort of food is dirty cheap that everyone can enjoy for just only one to two bucks per ice cream. So after fulfilling my itchy feet as well as completing my mission, I flew back to my home with a consolation prize and numerous great experience. So that's the end of my long journey to a capital city. Hope that my sharing can give you some motivation to go back to your own journey as well as your mission of fulfilling your targets. And if you like my video, consider to subscribe my channel, copy the link and share it with everyone or just merely like and comment down below. These things are really helpful for improving my channel and I would be really grateful if you could do it. Finally, have a good day everyone and goodbye.